Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. It's another Wednesday, and it's the last Wednesday in this month. Wow. Already ending April 22. What an amazing God we serve, who's able to do exceeding abundant above all we can ask or think, but it's according to the power that worketh in us. And today, as we continue to reflect on the power of the resurrection of our Lord, indeed, we need our prayers to be powered by His resurrection. And this day the Lord has made, we are called to rejoice and to be glad in it. As we focus on prayer, with the emphasis of intercessory prayer, I also want us to look at how vast prayers are. It's like going to a mall. There are more choices than going to a specialty store. That is how big our God is. And He invites us to come boldly to the throne of grace where we can obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And we know needs are everywhere. One just developed and there are more to come. And the more we need, the more we should look to God. And as times are difficult, challenging, all around, we serve a God who is touched with the feelings of our infirmity, a God who is immutable, cannot change, powerful, the creator of the ends of the earth, one who faints not, neither does he grow weary. There is no searching for his understanding. And that is who we pray to. That is who we go to. We go to the rock that is higher. It's greater than all of our situations and circumstance. And someone once said, why worry when we can pray? For as the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. And when we pray, we are fortified spiritually. Hence we are aided by Holy Spirit, the governor of heaven. He will keep us spiritually conscious so that we can overcome the vices of the devil. And Romans 8, 26 and 27 is our meditation today. I ask us read it, read it slow, read the whole chapter and hear the voice of God as we seek to pray today, as we seek to intercede, as we seek to travail, as we seek to warfare, to give thanks. Prayer is vast, and there's so much we can do in prayer. But we gotta give ourselves over the Holy Spirit. And Romans 8, 26, 27 says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And He who searches the heart knows what is in the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God, the Word of God, to the people of God. And so I encourage us as we pray today, come boldly to the throne where we can get things, mercy, where we can find stuff, grace, and get help in our times of need. So Father, we come boldly today with humility and fear, 
but we come indeed with confidence knowing the God we pray to hears and answer his ears is not heavy nor is his hand short and so we come confessing we come asking if there's anything between us and thee remove it we seek your forgiveness we seek to turn in repentance and to come to you where we can obtain mercy and find help grace in time of need and so i pray for believers everywhere i pray for those who are ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven that we pray that we talk to you that we find time with you in prayer yes we surf a lot we facebook a lot we instagram a lot but today we spend time in prayer we want to like you more we want to love you more we want to show your glory more so we pray and we honor you and we bless you because you've called us and command us to pray so we commend those who lead the nations this morning including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families we pray touch them holy spirit lead them o lamb of god may they come to you consciously continuously and we give you thanks for the peace of jerusalem for families everywhere we honor you for those who lead in every aspect of our community have your way and let believers pray today let us talk to you let us take it to the lord in prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen god bless you keep you the day as you seek him prayer he waits he waits on the throne and heaven waits for instructions from us on earth and ready to execute through us on earth have a great day in prayer amen